All right, let's leave the uh, area of the station behind. And so again, there's a, there's a lot happening here in Jellicoe. So we have quite a bit more to, uh, to see. And so again, make sure that you take a look at uh, my website. Uh, again, there's a lot of maps and pictures and things like that that you'll be able to uh, have a look at. So the next thing that's coming up here, you'll see that there's a structure on the north side of the grade to my right. So this is the modern, gotta yell above the wind here. This is the modern bunkhouse. And so this would have been again, even though um, the status of Jellicoe as a divisional point ended in 1960 uh, it was still a crew change location and so this is the bunkhouse that would have been used by the crews it would have had a, a, a um, person that maintained it a, a housekeeper um, that looked after it you can see almost like there's a little fence here around it and so you can see it's uh a decently sized structure I don't know what this thing is here you can see it's almost like in a t-shape and then there's a little trailer here and I believe um, this kind of served as the quote unquote station here at, uh, at Jellicoe, almost like a kind of administrative office. Here you can see, uh, this is obviously a, some sort of uh, signage pipe, uh, one of the, uh, the markers for the signage. Uh, you can see it's been cut off, so probably came from somewhere in the uh, somewhere in the yard. Okay, so now if you look to the south there and hopefully again you're not getting a real ton of glare before we uh before we go there i just want to mention so um this is again more the more modern bunkhouse uh there was a, a different location for a bunkhouse uh and it's over in that sort of direction and we're going to go sort of have a look for that later so let's head our way over here and so you'll notice this sort of very elaborate structure you can see that there's another signage pipe or another signage post here nothing on the post here's a piece of rubber i believe i think i'm starting to learn my railway terminology uh this is a piece from what's called a ballast regulator and so they basically um ran these along the tracks to um, um help maintain the uh the ballast and basically make sure it's in the right position you can see some rail connectors here so let's talk a little bit about this structure right here so this is a pretty significant structure here in Jellicoe and it's kind of one of the more iconic um, you know structures um, here uh, you can actually see it from the highway so the highway is just across this uh, uh, this lake here which I believe is called Noble Lake um, I, We'll talk more about this, but I think a lot of these small little lakes used to be all connected at one time. So this structure here, and we're gonna get a little bit of a better view of it. And we're gonna use some footage that we shot kind of on a cloudier day so we don't get all these shadows and things like that. But basically uh, this was the boarding house slash hotel. You can see it's quite an elaborate structure and we're gonna get a little bit more of a close up view of it. Um, and uh, so basically this would have been used uh, for, um, 
dignitaries, uh, for railway people, for their families and things like that. Uh, and so again, it would have been a pretty pretty important location here in, in Jellicoe and would have played host uh, to a lot of people um, during its time. Uh, eventually um, it was no longer uh, used uh, for railway purposes and the, the railway sold it off and eventually it became a hospital um, uh, here in Jellicoe. So we're going to have a, a, a go take a close-up look at this structure. All right, so we're on the west side of the yard here at Jellicoe. Uh, the, uh, the main track is just right here, just right in front of us across Drummond Street here. You can see the more modern crew bunkhouse just across there. And so what we're going to be taking a look at here is we're actually going to be taking a look at what used to be the hotel slash boarding house uh, here at Jellicoe. Um, unfortunately, its condition as kind of run down quite a bit. Um, the uh, the structure itself is actually located up on private property so I want to thank Bernice for letting me take an opportunity to kind of walk around and take some pictures and take some videos. Um, so again this would have been the uh, the hotel and so it would have been used for um, people who had to visit Jellicoe. Uh, railway officials uh, would also been used kind of for families um, of some of the workers here. And so this was basically, if you look at an old map, and I'll try to put an old map, there's, there actually is a, uh, a plan of Hector, which Jellicoe used to be called uh, before the name was, cha was changed. Uh, it actually shows this hotel slash boarding house um, in the original plan, so in 1914. So this was, this was proposed to be here. Um, way back when. Uh, you can see still some of the vestiges. Uh, you can actually see some of the really, really nice um, woodwork uh, that's on here, all right? Um, all of the, uh, I don't know if I can reach up there, uh, but basically you can kind of see there's moldings. There's a little bit of crown molding up at the top there. Maybe you can see it a little bit better up here. You can see the crown moldings. Uh, obviously the, uh, the deck boards and everything have just completely deteriorated. You can see it does have a good solid uh, concrete foundation, uh, which is really, really neat to uh, really neat to see. Again, you can just see the attention. You can see the shakes uh, up on the side of the structure here. So you can see all the wood shakes. And again, a pretty, pretty extensive foundation on the bottom. You can see there has been some deterioration. So this part of the foundation has just completely come apart, this back part here. And so you can see that it's actually just sort of pulled right away. Uh, I don't know what happened, if it was sort of undermined uh, or what occurred here. And so you can see that it's been kind of shimmed with all kinds of material to basically keep this back side of the structure from falling down. You can see it's just completely cracked and falling apart. We can kind of see up inside, inside the structure there. We're not going to go inside. I told Bernice we wouldn't go inside the structure. We're just going to kind of look from the outside. Uh, again, you can see the, the, the shakes uh, and uh, again, just the, the care and the detail um, in terms of how this structure was constructed. And again, this was all due in part to the fact that this was a divisional point uh, on the railway line and they would have had a need for this type of facility. Unfortunately, um, you know, it, it didn't, it did see a lot of use, but not really as much as probably would have, you would have thought of, um, especially after the Nikina cutoff was built and this, this line was no longer part of the, uh, of part of the main line anymore. So uh, basically it was, uh, part of the Canadian Northern Rail, uh, Northern Railway mainline uh, for a bunch of years, but when that Nikina cutoff was opened um, uh, officially, I guess in 1925, 
um, the amount of traffic coming through on this section of the old Canadian Northern drops substantially. Um, and, and obviously there wasn't as much use for this. Obviously there was, there was probably a little bit of a resurrection uh, during the time of the Sturgeon Gold Rush during the 1930s where there's people that was kind of coming in and I actually have an article and, uh, and I'll post a link to that. It's McLean's article and it talks about that and it talks about how kind of, you know, Jellicoe was kind of, you know, kind of, you know, forgotten about and all of a sudden all these people are kind of pouring into the area and the hotel is kind of busy and, you know, some of the establishments in the area became very, very busy as a, uh, uh, as a result of this and uh, eventually what ended up happening uh, was the railway had no longer had a use uh, for this hotel and so it was uh, eventually converted into a hospital uh, and became a Red Cross hospital for a number of years um, and then again changed hands a number of times again you can just see all the, the beautiful woodwork on here and the, the crown moldings up at the top the crown moldings over the door And just very, very beautiful. So it became a hospital for a number of years. I don't know how long. And then uh, has basically seen a series of private owners. Um, and uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, like, you, like you can see, it's basically fallen into a state of disrepair. Okay, so just adjacent to the, uh, to the hotel here, uh, there actually is a, another structure. And so there is the second section house um, here at Jellicoe. You can see kind of there was a, a little walkway here going to this little garage. And uh, so this one's been kind of fixed up. You can see that it has more modern siding on the outside. I'm going to come over here. You can see again that concrete foundation, which we see in a lot of the, uh, we see in all the other section houses. It's kind of hard to see with all these sort of cedars and stuff that are kind of growing up in the front. But again, you can see that chimney and we've seen that chimney on some of the, uh, some of the other structures. Again, kind of that very boxy um, appearance uh, of, these, uh, of these structures. Uh, 